Hi, this is So Love Today. And I hope you had fun and you enjoyed the treat that we had yesterday. Uh, Bo Sanchez and some of the brothers of the Kerygma Five were able to speak God's word to you today. Uh, our daily Catholic Bible reading takes us to Luke chapter 6, verse 20 to 26. And that was the portion by which Jesus began to speak about being blessed. He said, blessed are the poor, for the kingdom of God is yours, and, and so on. What a number of people miss here, hindi natin napapansin, because we hear this all the time, nakalimutan natin that Jesus actually is declaring, and, and he's saying, he was saying, very controversial statements. Baliktad. What was Jesus saying then uh, was about an upside-down kingdom. What was considered lucky before, he was saying, no, it's not. Tapos, what was considered bad luck, malas, buisit, Jesus was saying, is okay, is being blessed. What does being blessed really mean? Please understand. You can name it in the word here, uh, it says there, blessed are the poor. It did, it did not say, uh, blessed will be. That means blessedness is something you already have. Um, you are already blessed. And it is a congratulatory statement, actually. If you would read through the Hebrew, the original Hebrew, it is parang sinasabi dyan, congratulations. Can I tell you a story? Uh, there was this couple who lived in a small piece of lot in the mountains of uh, Queensland, Australia. And they, they have been living in abject poverty. At ang tingin ng mga tao sa kanila, they're so poor. But after a while, after a number of years, they have discovered that the lot, yung lupa, that they have their small shanty standing on, actually. Underneath is a huge gold mine, gold deposits. So meaning, all their lives, even in their abject poverty, sa kahirapan nila, hindi nila alam, it's unknown to them that they have always been rich. They're one of the richest people in the world. They just had to know it. And they just had to live it out. Sobrang yaman pala nila. That's why in this gospel, Jesus was saying, maybe you don't know this yet, but you are already blessed. You just have to choose it, and you just have to live it out. The word used by Jesus in, in, in the Bible here, or in the gospels here, is makarios. Blessed, makarios, means literally, literally God-like joy. What does this mean? God-like joy. Meaning it's not dependent on circumstances. It's not dependent on what happens or what will happen to you today. Makarios is God-like joy. And what kind of joy is this? Uh, I want to quote a song that said, What kind of joy is this? Counting it a blessing to suffer. What kind of joy is this, it's this that gives a prisoner a song? What kind of joy could stare death in the face and see the sweet victory? These are the joys that only the people who are connected to the real source of joy can experience. It is mysterious to others, but we know this. This is the reality. This is the truth. And today, my friend, you are already blessed. It's just a matter of choosing it today and living it out. This is a happy day. This is a blessed day. And thank God you already have it. This is John Escoto and you are so loved today. <music>